Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Dusk's Tale. We are here with Dusk outside of a research facility, where in the last, Bridget over here nearly had her arms blown off by a gasoline zombie that exploded close by. We spent a little bit of time since then cleaning up some of the dead that are around the outside and in the process have been slightly injured ourselves. However, we are a little bit more prepared for what awaits us inside. We have modified our laser rifle and added some extra features to it, some fancy tasty new features, a focusing lens, a high density capacitor and a nice new rifle scope, meaning that we can shoot things from quite far away. It does use a little bit more battery than before, so our UPS will be drawing a fair amount of power, so we need to keep that in mind as we go forwards, but uh, for now we are just recovering a little bit. We're going to go ahead and drop down this empty magazine. And uh, in here we have two different weapons. We have the Warflail and Siege Breaker, just in case we need to have some extra bashing goodness. Honestly, the Warflail is probably going to be a better option than Siege Breaker, just kind of looking at it. Um, so we'll probably leave Siege Breaker behind for now, but the Warflail means that we can hit things from a distance and uh, it's going to do good bash damage. So if we're dealing with soldiers, it's going to be a better option for us all around. Hello, Lounge PC. Right, so... We are injured, we need to keep that in mind, but I think we still can carry on. We just need to make sure that that left arm is going to be okay. Our head and our arm have been bandaged up all right. I just want to work on our torso as well. So we'll go ahead and, well, we'll use a proper bandage. We'll go ahead and pop that on. There we go, we're in mild pain at the moment. We are under the influence of codeine already, I think, so we're not gonna take any more pain killers at this stage. But we are gonna start to make our way back towards here and um, try to be mindful while walking through here. Uh, we've killed quite a few things, so it could be worth us actually um, having a look on the ground here and just seeing what we're seeing. Uh, we do have a slathering biter and a huge boomer down there, but if we go ahead and shift over to um, weapons and items and stuff we can see grenades a nice laptop computer which we might actually want to take just so that we have it an active man hacks we could set those free okay just over there we'll keep that in mind yeah i think it's probably worth us just letting them loose and then a whole heap of clothing just a lot of clothing some radiation badges on the ground morphine some decent uh books homebrewers bible which apparently we haven't read yet so we'll probably have to pick that up and just a whole heap of other bits and pieces we've got a skeletal juggernaut over there okay that's uh hmm yep we'll definitely want to shoot at that from a distance everything else we should be able to take down you know relatively easy this gargoul over here is going to get to us quite quickly but if we go and pop our claws out we'll be able to deal with that rather fast okay I'm going to have to deal with the other things first of all before the Juggernaut. And that's also alright. There we go. Taking down that one. And um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and try and do a little bit of smashing as this skeletal zombie gets closer. It is going to be a bit resistant to us. But we should still be able to do enough damage to it. There we go. Just enough. And really we weren't doing that much damage. And our torso isn't that encumbered either. I think it might be the fact that we are still overburdened that it is causing us to be not having a good time and I think it's maybe the extra batteries that we're carrying. We'll go ahead and drop them off. I think, yep, that sets us out to be okay. Well, that's good. So let's get ready to take our, you know, our kind of first shot at the skeletal juggernaut here. Put our claws away and we'll get ready to uh, fight this thing as it's just shoving the car around here. Uh, so let's see. This is a semi-automatic shot. We'll go ahead and change it to auto and automatically it's going to take a precise shot and they are all really good shots. I think we'll need another um, cycle of those. Okay, that's pretty good. At this stage we'll just change to semi-auto. We'll take single shots until the sucker dies. Here we go. With the zombie security guard all the way over there. And that did take a few charges, but most certainly worth it. We'll pop our claws back out and sling that back over our shoulder. Grab our good old trusty cart and make our way on over towards the juggernaut to make sure it stays dead. Okay, well there's a whole heap of pain down there. And a bio-operator. 
bio-operator we're probably gonna want to try and take down with a laser rifle at a distance we could try and use the war flail against him i'm tempted to try that actually if he does make his way out here that's what we'll end up doing i think for now though we're just gonna head down towards those man hacks and we're gonna go ahead and activate them too heavy to pick up well i debate that let's go ahead and pick up just one of them we should be wielding that now no i guess not uh activate there we go and we set the thing free grab you uh try to grab you activate it man hack wherever you are there you are fly free uh so it's going to be trying to get to the things inside it's not going to be able to get to them though so they're really not going to be all that much help i think and these ones down here are broken we'll just smash the remains of this one i'm not so worried about the things inside i don't think they'll be able to get through the reinforced glass and saying that the kevlar zombie might be able to <laughs> oh that skeletal juggernaut definitely will be able to so let's just keep our eye on that mess down there for now because we're probably gonna have to deal with that looks like the juggernaut is having its own fight so that works for us for now let's just go ahead and uh, kill everything else that's here it looks like we are going to be dealing oh i was gonna say dealing with the bar operator first but no it's going after the man hack so that kind of works out for us it is going to make its way up towards us so let's look at wielding the war flail we'll see if we can take him down from a distance here i'd like to try and use the cart if i can to slow it down and the good thing about this is that we can take a shot from distance okay and we missed that's wonderful we're going to go ahead and back up take another swing and these are good swings yes this is not a ninjutsu weapon <laughs> but it is a good weapon okay all right well we definitely want to smash that remain we definitely want to we definitely want to smash its remains we don't want it coming back and uh you know what let's pick up the anti-venom pills and the military id card on you we are overweight at the moment and that's because of the war flail we'll chuck it back down and we'll look at heading towards the structure we're still seeing just a lot of dead here okay let's deal with the top group first the grabber and the security guard we've been grabbed pulled on over deal with you there we go and now on to you make sure they all stay dead the zombie scientists won't be able to get to us just yet anything good on you there's always a chance but we can't check every single one of them We'll go ahead and just wait a little while here let the scientists start to gather up and it looks like we're going to be dealing with the security guard first okay and then a whole <laughs> listening of scientists you want to just pop outside say hello there we go um another thing that i've done is we are actually using our heavy survivor gas mask yet again uh, we can wear that under the eod helmet we kind of need to for multiple reasons we've taken the ballistic glasses off this has glare protection so it's going to stop us from getting glare from the sun uh but the eod helmet doesn't have any kind of filtration system so we need to have that underneath and it kind of balances out that you know we aren't super encumbered so it still works in our favor what was that i saw something else then for a second a zombie that i haven't seen before hunter killer zombie okay right another kind of soldier i think maybe all the way down here and outside okay let's have a look and see fragments of visible uniform hint that this monstrosity was once a soldier anything human is invisible hidden inside a sheath of living shadow it moves with preternatural fluidity and grace wonderful that's exactly what we want hey eh? um i do want to get a little bit closer to this structure here no you know what i don't i don't want radiation sickness and i think we might end up getting radiation sickness if we get too close so let's not do that um we're kind of trying to do a targeted run here so we're just going to try and, and ignore this mess that is going on outside and just try and focus on getting up into the warehouse here so there's a very specific path that we have to kind of try and walk here and i think we'll be able to do it without encountering too much resistance close that up 
and just move on by. Let the reinforced glass stand for now. There we go. That works very much in our favor. Okay, we've got a scientist right away. So we go ahead and deal with you. And the next scientist. And, oh, we've got ourselves a shocker down there. Okay, well, we know how to deal with you. We're going to go ahead and wield our laser rifle. I'm going to take a nice, precise shot at you. Semi-automatic, that's perfectly fine. Okay, it is now badly bleeding and dead. Fantastic, exactly what we like to see. Okay, Gargul, we'll deal with you first. Descending from the ceiling, trying to surprise us. We've got a few interesting things in here. A slathering biter down the bottom. Okay. Come on, there we go. No death for us today. We'll leave our cart behind as we try and bait out a uh, spit. One that misses. Let's just go ahead and crack these open while we're here. Okay, looks like it's food in these ones so far. Take down the scientists and the security guards. And we'll just kind of wait for the acid to dissipate here. But we're going to go through with our uh, handy dandy cart and just collect what we can from these containers okay so best way for us to do this is to have the cart selected with one side and then just do all around on the other so tanks of oxygen not that useful the bleach yep totally we can definitely make use of that cement no short rope yes okay and that's it that's how easy it is okay looking at this sheets of tempered glass that's tempting because we could try and make reinforced glass to reinforce our um, solar panels, but it's a lot of work that I'm maybe not so interested in doing right now. It looks like maybe something was destroyed here because there's a lot of stuff just kind of hanging out on the floor. Uh, we'll take the gauze and we'll take the chemicals that are here. Acetone, ether, and all the rest. Okay. Chug of sulfur, probably going to be able to do without that, but we'll take the magnesium powder as well. We'll stand in this space and see what we've got going on for us. Uh, just a soldering iron. The super glue we're always going to take. But everything else, that's a that's another meh. Looking at you, nothing on you. And um, I don't think there was much going on in here, but I kind of just need to wait for the acid to dissipate. So we'll hang out for a second here. As we can see that uh, Dusk's arm is getting a little bit better. That quick healing working out for us. It's not quite regeneration. But it's still, it's still a pretty good healing factor. Black pepper, fried seeds, and just, in general, food that we're going to be able to make use of. So we'll take all of that, and we'll actually have a little bit of a snack on the candy, I think. Just as soon as we had a look through this. Okay, solar backpack. We might be able to just get some bits and pieces from it, so we'll take it. Uh, with the idea that we're going to try and take it apart, or remember to. Take that battery and the super glue. Nice. Okay. All right, we checked them already, I believe. So we should be good to go. Up towards these top ones. Some more tempered glass, it looks like. Okay, uh, we'll just do that all around yet again. And yeah, okay. Ooh, autoclave pouches. We'll probably take them because, um, yeah, we might want to go CBM fishing at some point, trying to cut through things. We do have a basic kind of CBM set up on ourself we might be able to get more installed in the future like i've said in the past with cbms with dusk we are going to keep it quite lightweight she's going to be no brand as uh yeah i feel like we're, we're going the organic route we'll take all the antiseptic and antibiotics because they're always going to be useful for us but everything else yeah not so worried about it okay check and see what we've got here Dissecting microscope. Okay. Take the chocolate bars. The bell pepper that's frozen probably won't be good for that long, but the pemmican most certainly will. Antiparasitic sounds nice. As far as drugs go. 600 solder. Yeah, so that's one of the reasons why uh, this place is good. Because we can find large amounts of stuff in one area like that. Sometimes we'll find nothing at all. It is a bit of a mixed bag. Nitrogen tank, don't know if there's any actually in there. I'd imagine there would be, but there might not be at all. Salt water is easy enough to come by, so I'm not so concerned about that right now. A vacuum sealer. Yeah. 
just the solder and the super glue, please. We'll crack the rest of these open. God damn, there's an autoclave in there. Okay, well, we are gonna try and take that. We probably can't fit it in though. If I had to take a wild guess. Take that, antiseptic. Ah, uh, right. No, it can fit in there. Fantastic, okay, well, we will keep that along for the ride. Uh, we'll also take the solder from here. Okay, so that door is just going to lead to the outside, so we're not so concerned about that. Uh, I think it's mostly going to be tools in these spaces here, so yet again, it's worth us having a look, but we've already got all the tools we want. Uh, the chainsaw is a maybe. I can't foresee us wanting a huge amount of wood, though, so we can probably get by with what we've got. Looking at this lot here. Hmm. Yeah. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Nothing I want from there. And sometimes it's going to be like that. It's a bit of a mixed bag. You you don't know. Um, okay, I think it is worth us popping our head upstairs just to have a quick look to see how bad things are. Uh, we will peek though. Okay, peeking is all right. Let's move to the side. We'll go ahead and just turn on the helmet of ours, this EOD helmet. Okay. So far, everything seems, you know, okay. This is a security space here. What do we got on the ground? Integrated circuit data. Okay, let's um take that. I don't know if there's actually something we can use. Quite possibly. Check the desks real quick. Nah, nothing that we want. And that's just bathrooms. Okay, so the rest of these spaces are going to be these kind of like contained units where there are going to be batteries, which are most certainly useful. But we don't have a use for them right this second. I don't think we're going to find much in the way of sea beams or anything else interesting. So best thing for us to do is move on. There might be some books here that could help us out. At the same time, the longer we're here, the more resources we're going to spend, the more time we're going to spend, and uh, that's time that we could be on the road. I am a little surprised by how quiet it is in here. Is that from beneath? That's from above us. Okay. Oh, and we're seeing Amigo to the south. Well, now that is intriguing. We're seeing Migos here now. Which means that there might be some kind of portal action going on. And if that's the case, then I think that does take a little bit more of uh, Dusk's interest. To understand exactly what it was that they were doing here. I mean, that's what this is always about. Understanding. Or trying to. We've got ourselves an autoclave over there. And just to give you an idea of what we're running into in these places... There are some interesting things, but just nothing that's going to immediately jump out at dusk. Apart from hazmat zombies, they, they jump out. And they die pretty quickly. Same with the scientists. Okay. And you too. Okay. We've got more of that gas just leaking out. It's a manhack, a boomer, and a migo to the south. This manhack is no more. Okay, just more sounds from above, I think. So above is where we want to be, I, I imagine. We are going to head down in the direction of that Migo, though. Take that out real quick. Yep, let's head down here. Hello, friend. Take you out. That's definitely where there's been a missile strike of some kind. So we'll give that a bit of a, a wide berth. Okay, ooh, what have we here? What have we here, Dusk? Ha! Huh. We've got a resin wall. Okay. Part of the research facility has been taken over by this resin flooring. Okay, the temperatures aren't extreme in here, but this is definitely the kind of activity that we've come to expect from Migos. But how is it here? spreading like this that's uh that is rather interesting let's go ahead and smash that 
is there a way through? Is there a, a, a way around all of this? It doesn't look like there is. I think if there was, we'd need to approach from the, the top down. Yeah, the next level. Okay, well, let's, let's find our way up. We're understanding yet again why they tried to destroy this place. Probably because of some kind of contact they made. Now, where did you come from? Hmm? Did you fall down somehow? I think you might have fallen down from the upper level here. So let's go ahead and peek on up. And oh boy, it's a uh, it's a party up here. We definitely do have this uh, this weird hazy cloud that's just hanging in the air. We actually got some filtration masks up to the north, or filtration cartridges, should I say? Let's carry on. Looking out for big trouble. That ain't it. Still a bit dangerous though. Okay. Let's take out the scientist. We could always just uh, turn off our lights if we wanted to have a little bit more freedom here. And oh boy, an unstable flesh raptor. That's new. That is certainly new. It's a small winged predator that darts through the air on three thinly haired wings that look like stretched human hands. Okay. Bloated, fleshy belly. Why is this one unstable? Hmm? Oh god, that's why. That's why it explodes. It freaking explodes. It flies towards us and explodes. It exploded up in the air though, and I don't think it did as much damage to us because of that reason. But let's keep that in mind in the future, huh? We definitely want to try and take down this sucker first. Okay, we're not going to step into the trail, but I do want to try and kill you. Here we go. And let's make sure that they stay dead. All right, moving on. Okay, where is that going to lead, huh? Just into offices, okay. Well, still hearing some more noise. Just hearing noise from it here, maybe? Oh, ha, crap, caustic soldier. Okay, let's go ahead and turn around and run. Because um, that is, it's not fun. It's a whole heap of acid that's going to be coming our way. We do not like that one bit. So let's just get some distance here. It's going to be able to take a few shots at us as well. Let's just catch our breath. Um, we'll wield the laser rifle and just see if it's going to pop on out. We'll turn off our um, light. Okay, it's immediately here. That's not great. So let's go off of that firing mode. We do need to go into automatic and we want to try and get a semi-okay shot here. Probably going to be the best we can get. Okay, it got a few shots off at us as well. Let's try again. Around 71. There we go. Thing is dead. Okay. Get that light back on. Get our claws back out. Oh crap. Well, I guess we, uh... <laughs> we managed to attract a bit of attention in the form of the whole staff here. Okay, Dusk. Hold your ground do fantastic damage to each of these scientists. More noise coming from all around us at this stage. Ooh. Panaceus. We're going to take that because that's just a cure-all, really. Fantastic. Yes, thank you. Ignore. And looking up here, there's a joint, some super glue, some antibiotics too. Okay, we're going to grab this body immediately and just move it away because we need to make sure that we cut it into pieces. Okay, let's make this thing quick. Dismember. Okay. All right, we're in mild pain. Let's go ahead and knock back just an aspirin. All right. How are our bandages holding up? Very good. Okay, that is uh, that's what we want to see. Let's just catch up. I was going to say catch our breath. Okay, we're hearing shuffling from the side here. What have we, what have we got going on. Nothing in here, but if we go through the doors here, we'll probably discover whatever it is that's making that noise. Okay, it's a bio-operator. We're probably just going to leave... No, I was going to say we're going to leave you be. Um, that didn't work out. We'll close that, head on over towards here, and uh, get ready to fire again. Okay, we've got 600 power left in our UPS at the moment. Let's just wait here. All right. 
So, you, my friend, I want to take a nice precise shot at you. Okay. There we go. That's what we like to see. And uh, we'll just go ahead and put that back on. Alright. Shot there. There we go. Ooh, blood analysis CBM. That's something that might be worth us having. And you got an autoclave as well. We'll go ahead and pick it up. Okay. Oh, skeletal brute in here as well. Alright, let's just uh, back on out. We don't have to kill everything in here. No, we do not. We were more interested in the Migo threat as well, which is down beneath here. So, let's kind of get ready for that. We want our stamina to be back up, like so. We're feeling happy because we're in pain. Dusky weird. Okay, let's just check down here. Could be a lot of clothing. Okay. We're going to go ahead and peek downstairs. All right. That worked out okay. So we're going to continue downstairs then, towards where this weird Migo structure is. We're encountering scientists and security guards, and, uh, hmm, black ops zombie, and, uh, zombie brute. The brute we can take care of, fine. The black ops zombie is something that I'm like, uh, maybe we should shoot that at range? Just because, uh, it can be pretty good with its hands. Um, we are just going to go ahead and put in our earplugs though quickly. Because there's a screecher back there and we don't want to get dazed. Okay. Best way to deal with this lot here. Well, we, we want to try and minimize the amount that are able to attack us at once. So we're going to go ahead and back into here. Just so that there's kind of one square that they can kind of come at us from. We might have them move around. Okay, good damage. Right, so at this stage... This one is bleeding, it's stunned, it's nearly dead. We need to go for the brute first though. It is dazed as well. We managed to strike it, that's good. That one has the ability to kind of knock us through glass, so we want to take that down first. Then the black ops zombie. Okay, I'm pretty confident with us fighting them now. So, the black ops zombies we know we can handle. It's the psyop ones that are going to be a little bit more of a pain. Okay. Alright, let's go take those earplugs back out. We'll here once again, we'll just smash the corpses that are here, and we'll take a second to just go through what they have on them. Okay, goo canister, whole heap of clothing, the modern tanner, okay, nothing super amazingly great. The autoclave just hanging out over here, yep, let's head along, okay, that's, that's all there is to that structure, that's interesting. Oh, there might be more elsewhere though. So let's continue to move. Okay. Yeah, definitely noises coming from inside this place. And that's where we saw the Migo as well. I don't think we can get into there though. Just looking at this. Nah, I, I, I don't see a route that we can kind of move through it. Unless we could maybe move across those. It's, there's, there's a possibility. I think for now, though, we will go up to the top of the research facility, just because, you know, we're heading up anyway. We might as well. I don't think there's going to be anything too amazing up here. I know that's a big claim, but here we go. There it is. We'll peek up here. And this does seem to be the top floor. We can get up higher. I think we can get to the roof. But um, take that security guard out and just see if we can find a passage leading up. Nope. Clean suits, lots of clothing. I think we will be able to find one. If we do want to find one. I think we'll just go ahead and move along here for now. Have a look at the books real quick. Okay. No. Nothing that's jumping out at me at the moment. So we'll just carry along. Kevlar Hulk. Wonderful. Further on through here. Yep, on the other side. Okay. Well, I think we'll probably just end up heading on back down. And trying to get out of this place. Yep. So down we go. At least 
two levels, and then we need to make our way across, like so. Ah, no. It's up and then down. Yep. That was my bad. Up we go. And we went down on the other side. Make our way across here. And followed by a few of these scientists. So we'll quickly take them out. And head on down. Okay. Alright. Take down you. Head back downstairs. Corrosive zombie. Where? I hate you. <laughs> outside. Well, outside but still within range. Now, what did I do with our cart? I really need to have it be a remembered vehicle. Yeah. Where did I leave you, huh? That's my question of the day. We'll let them just continue to fight on over there for now. Okay. Where did we leave that sucker? We came up these staircases here. I don't think I dragged it all the way over here, no, because we didn't we haven't been up there. Ah, okay. It's over here. Alright, we're just gonna have to pop back inside to grab that real quick. That's okay. Ah, oh, corrosive zombie, you're gonna be a pain in the ass, aren't you? We're gonna have to deal with you. Just making our way out. Everything else we can fight in melee, perfectly fine. Even the uh, skeletal brutes, be able to get through to them eventually. But this sucker, it's a real bastard. So we'll take a few good shots at it. And we're going to run out of charge. How much damage did we do to it though? Enough? Not enough. And in addition, we have this caustic soldier as well. So that's not great. I think what we want to try and do now is just try and get them stuck on this vehicle. So let's head down in this direction. Avoiding the acid streak as we go. And oh, we got a shocker somehow. No idea where you came from. So at this point, best thing for us to do is probably get back to the vehicle. So we're just going to start to run. Avoiding the sludge trail. We'll just make it on back here. Hey, Bridget, how's it going? Uh, we're doing fine. So opening that up, the shocker is right in front of us. So <laughs> let's go ahead and control the vehicle. We are going to aim turrets manually. Take a few good shots at this thing here. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead, wear our laser rifle, and take a shot, not at the scientist, we'll just kind of wait a second or two. Skeletal brutes, okay, yeah, we're we'll just going to have to take them down, we'll let them get a little bit closer, it's just going to be more efficient that way. You bleeding to death? Yeah, you're going to bleed to death. There we go. And hey, we got ourselves a juggernaut, it's going to take a lot more shots. So we'll just start shooting it now. There we go. Getting it there. Not the most accurate gun in the world, really. But it does the job. Okay. We still haven't got our breath back, huh? Now, what is that outside? Could be any number of things. We're just going to go ahead and reload the UPS here. I'm going to stop running. I'm going to go see what this is. Caustic zombie, maybe? Nope, slathering biter, among other things. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and drop this for now. We'll pop out our claws. Okay. There we go. And we'll build it once again. Thank you, laser rifle. Handy as always. So, caustic zombie soldier. You're quite distant, but we're going to try and take you down at a distance. So let's take a precise shot at you, if possible. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Right, well, that one's on fire, so hopefully it dies. Uh, you need to die next up. So let's see. We've got a pretty good chance to hit already. It did die. Fantastic. Ah, oh, boy. Stop aiming. No, try and hold the aim. We lost the aim. Okay, so we'll go for maybe 70. That's the best we can get. Okay, we got a few shots in there. It got a few shots in there as well. 81. 
Okay, getting a few more in. There we go. Caustic dead. Okay, now where? There it is. Corrosive all the way down here. So let's start to move up. It's not going to be as much of a problem at a distance. <sighs> okay, hey Kevlar zombie. Now you, you definitely need to die. So we'll go for 100% as so we can. We're going to kill it and then we'll go ahead and just wear this thing. I want to try and see if we can fight this Kevlar. We should be able to... <sighs> I mean... Our stamina isn't great at the moment. Okay, we got some skill in bashing weapons. So we are doing a little bit of bash with our um, <laughs> with our claws. So let's go ahead and pull the rifle out. Didn't do quite as much as I was hoping. And we're out of breath, so this is going to be the better move for us in general. There we go. That was the right call. Okay, take a second. Have a bit of a breather. Let's go get our cart. Have a proper breather, actually, Dusk. Even if that slime's going to come and say hello. Yeah, let's just go ahead and wait a while. Catch our breath. Yep, sure. Kill the slime. If it's going to be like that. Okay, we've got a caustic soldier around somewhere. Down the bottom, it has actually somehow made it out of containment. I was hoping that the slimes were just going to deal with that, but looks like it's going to keep on coming after us, huh? Okay, well, our lucky day. Let's get ready to do this thing. You need to die, my friend. Yep, you, specifically. There we go, 100%. And you are dead. Congratulations. Okay. Alright, let's pop the claws. We're going to have to deal with the skitterbot. And maybe others here. A little bit of a zap on us. Oh, that's the hunter killer. It is dead. Ratatouille as well. Mm. Okay, let's turn off our um, light because we don't need to have it on right this second. Make our way back to our cart. <laughs> it just like walked right through a gargoyle. Had no idea it was there. Okay, so we got some things out of this. Hey, we got an autoclave so we can clean CBMs now should we need to which also means that we can kind of cut them out of uh, the dead well hi there that wasn't very nice was it but you're now most certainly dead let's make our way back towards the vehicle here and we'll try and do a little bit of sorting out of everything that is in our cart here okay so what do we have in here at the moment Let's just go ahead and say sort out my loot and we'll let it move everything and then see what's left okay so chemicals where are we going to store extra chemicals? What isn't full right now? Kind of everything is full. We've got a little bit of space underneath the welding rig. Could we store some chemicals there? Yeah, totally. Probably safer keeping them there rather than by the food. So let's go ahead and bind those. And we'll go ahead and sort out our loot yet again. What is left in here? Just some food. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take the food, go over to where our food is kept, and we'll just drop them on off. Dropping those, and anything else at this stage? Well, I guess the CBM, we can go ahead and drop that off as well. I imagine we do actually have somewhere for that. Um, drop off our used battery, the super glue. We probably don't need to have all of the different types of medication on us at the moment. It's not going to wear us down that much, though. Okay. All right, drop them in there, and we'll go ahead and sort. That's everything sorted, and that's kind of this place done. There is a lot more to it. Like, don't get me wrong, there is definitely a lot more to this place. Um, there might be a possible way down as well, which we can find um, usually in the corners. I think specifically over here, if we were to try and get through the, uh, the big metal door here. I don't know if we want to invest that much time to it. I'd rather spend more time exploring. We do have this interesting town up here to the north, North Maxfield. I kind of think that we're going to want to just go straight through that. We've got the scout tower here. Yeah, actually what might be the best move for us is actually going down here and just driving down and around and going up north. I mean, or just using the road. Honestly, the road might be faster and it's going to be safer. Well. 
doing air quotation marks there. Don't know how safe that'll actually be. There's a last man on earth shelter that's actually in this town, along with a doctor's office. And uh, what else do we have out here? Hunter's blind and a military bunker. We could go to the bunker. It's not that far away. Yeah, sure. We've got some military ID cards. We've got reason to use them. So let's look at using them. Um, we're going to go ahead and start this vehicle up, start driving away, realize that we haven't attached the car properly and uh, promptly go back and do that. Because that is indeed something we need to do. Grab the cart. <laughs> Thankfully, that's like the one time that I didn't reverse out of here. Otherwise, we would have reversed straight into the cart. Um, does the cart actually need some repairing as well? Well, the curtain does. Same with that headlight. Looks like we're using all of our super glue already. Uh, we'll go ahead and weld the casters there. And that's that. Okay, so Bridget, I'm going to tell you to follow because you're still in guard mode at the moment. We're going to roll on away from here. And we're pretty much going to go... We could go straight through Peachum here. We've got these big urban city blocks though. So I'm thinking maybe it might be a little bit safer for us to kind of go around Peachum. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go slightly to the north. That's a more responsible move for us. I think the reason why you're hearing the car kind of start like that time and time again is because we're kind of going between using the electric engine and using our main engine. We could also have a quick look in this cave as well. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Stop driving. Let's jump on out this thing. Um, Bridget shouldn't be able to leave there. I say that, but Bridget has totally left. Let's actually examine your wounds here. Okay, so these should be healing. It's gonna take a long time to heal. Yeah, no, it's, Bridget, if you if you would, just stay in here for now, and uh, we'll tell you to guard. See you in just a moment. Don't mind us. We just can't resist, uh, you know, doing a little bit of exploration. Is there a way in? There always is, and hey, we got ourselves a cougar. Okay, let's pop our claws out. We don't want to fight these cougars. Looks like this might actually be their home. So I guess that's happening. Okay, you're gonna pounce for me as well and run away and come back. Believe me, we are a much dangerous creature than you. Smash that web. Okay. Making sure there's nothing kind of hidden behind any of these. Right, nothing else in here. If anything else, we can just go and butcher those cougars so that they don't go to waste. Okay, there is a way down. We'll see what else is in this cave. Down we go then. Here we go. We are going to peek before we go down though. Halfway down becomes blocked off. Really? So we, yeah, we can't, we can't go down. Okay. Right, it's like the staircase is there, but it's not quite connected up or... Yeah, it doesn't... It's not just kind of working right. So, let's go ahead and move these on over. Bring them inside. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to butcher them straight there. I think we're just going to have to grab the butcher's table and set it up out the back. And that should be with our tools. I imagine it'll be worth the tools. So let's see. We are looking for a butcher's rack, so it's not there. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick all-round search. That's usually the easiest way for us to do this. Just search for butch. And just walk down a little bit here. Metal butcher's rack. No space for it. It is to the southeast. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab it from there. We'll just have to wield it. And we'll go and set it up outside. Drag these boys down there. And let's go ahead and butcher everything. Full butchery is going to take an hour, so we'll just work our way through. We will continue after taking a few breaks. Best way for us to do this, and luckily everything else is um, healing up quite nicely. As we just go through the motions here. Okay, we've got a lot of goods. So, how are we going to fit these things in here? I believe we've already got everything that we can kind of have in our mini freezer. So I'm just going to do a quick look at everything that's in there and decide what we need and what we actually don't need. Okay, so we've packed in as much as we can. We do still have some meat outside, so it's not going to be that good, but I am going to try and see if we can make a whole heap of tallow 
tomorrow morning. We are going to continue driving on for now though, so let's go get these headlights turned on, just so we have a little bit of visibility tonight as we continue to make our way towards this bunker. Oh, we've left the butcher's rack outside. <laughs> of course we have. Of course we have. That's definitely something that I would do. Um, I have also left a piece of cooked meat just on the ground there, which ain't great. Let's go ahead and wield this thing. Head on over here, and uh, we'll just go ahead and drop that off for now. Back into the driver's seat. We will continue on. Making our way towards this... Uh, bunker. We're hoping that uh, we're not going to encounter too much trouble as we approach. We shouldn't have turrets or anything else like that that we need to deal with as our card is going to be good enough for us. We'll turn off the headlights. We'll stop driving. We'll just uh, leave Bridget to hang out in here as we start to make our way closer. Let's hop the fence and use our card. There we go. And we are good. So if we weren't, there would be turrets in these slots here and we'd get slaughtered. Uh, we will double check downstairs that everything is good. Uh, let's go ahead and peek. Uh, okay, that is strange. We don't seem to be going downstairs. Okay, <laughs> we couldn't peek, but we can go downstairs. Okay. And uh, right, we've got some 5.56 tracer rounds here. There's some C4. An active tear gas hack. We'll go ahead and just turn on our light real quick. Okay. Ooh, we've got an actual full turret over there. Okay. A whole ass rocket. Honestly, we've got so many cards here. We could probably go for the lot. Because, um... Yeah, we, we could pretty much take everything from here. Rocket clips? Okay. Yeah, I suppose so. Wow, this one's very well stocked. Got a whole heap of stuff here. A grenade launcher. That's a RivTech grenade launcher. And a recoilless rifle. Damn. You know what? I kind of want to take the lot. I'll be honest. We're, we're going to do it. We're going to go ahead and swipe our cards here. And we're going to take... Oh, uh, right, that is something that we can do, we can attempt to hack, and we're pretty good at hacking, but at the same time, we've got so many military ID cards, I'm okay with us doing this. As soon as we run out of them, that's when we can start hacking, but, yeah, we could get even more as well, if we just go through soldiers' wallets. Um, so, I think the fastest way for us to deal with this here, is to just create a zone. So if we go and make an unsorted zone, so let's see. Okay, unsorted, we're going to go ahead and just mark this whole area like so. Excellent. And then we're just going to make a another area, which, hmm, we kind of we kind of just want everything moved at this stage. But uh, I think the easiest thing to do is just go like guns, put that there. Um, let's see. Ammo, put that there as well. Uh, what else are we going to get from here? Clothing? We're not really interested in clothing. It's really guns and ammo. And then, what else? Modifications? Yep, mods if they are there. Um, and maybe magazines as well. So let's see. Put them in place. Now granted, we probably could have just run around and picked stuff up, but I'm just going to see if this works out okay for us. Uh, oh, I guess we have to go ahead and open those up first. Like so. And there we go, zipping around, grabbing absolutely everything we can, and moving on over there. So there were a few things that we didn't get, and it seems to be things like grenades. Specifically. Yep. I don't think we want every single grenade from this place. The turrets are a, maybe the EMP bomb, 100% I want to take you. Same thing with the C4. The dynamite, not that interested. And grenades we can kind of find anywhere. The C4 we're always going to take. Tear gas hack I'm not that concerned with. You, I think we'd be able to get more from taking it apart. At the same time, we could just set this thing up and make it work for us. That is quite tempting. I know we had one. 
but we might we might want more. Okay, let's go ahead and shift this thing over. Um, onto the ground. Thank you. And we'll see if we can get it to work for us. Now we've got one more as well, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Just take that from the north, shift it down here. Oh, we had a flamethrower here as well. Now, we don't want every gun, so we're just going to do a quick sort before we go up and out of here. So let's see, what do we actually want gun-wise? The recoilless rifle will keep with us. The flamethrower, we don't need. The grenade launcher, yeah, totally. We will be taking that with us. But I think that's it. Yep, the rest can stay here. And we're going to make our way on out of here. Um, and we'll just go ahead and smash down this. We'll go ahead and pop our claws. Make the process a little faster. It looks like we might be taking some pipes and scrap metal with us. A Triffid was spotted. A Triffid. Well, hot damn, yes, I'm going to stop moving. My god. God, it's been a decade since I've seen a Triffid. I don't see any towers or anything else like that around here, but yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if we've seen a Triffid in this save with dusk yet. But here we have a creeping animate plant growing as tall as a moose. It has a single bark covered stalk supporting a flowery head with a paralyzing sting concealed within. This thing has seen us, and it is coming for us. Okay. Well, hello. We just watched this thing approaching. Now, Dusk has encountered Triffids before, but just not in this universe yet. Let's go ahead and swiftly strike this thing down. Just plant sap left behind. Hmm. Dangerous woods, it seems. Let's go turn our light off, so we can see very well at night. And just drag all this mess back towards our vehicle. Open up the back. And everything else we're just going to go ahead and move into here. Okay, and then we're going to sort out our loot. Putting everything we can back inside there. And it looks like we can fit everything, even the turrets. So that, that is a good thing for us. Let's go ahead, turn on our headlights. And we're going to rock on away from here. We've explored this. So we're going to be heading through... North Maxfield. I think it's two different towns here. Yet North Haven and Maxfield, they're kind of combined into one. So we want to just head out along this road up towards this motel, I think. So let's try and do that quickly if we can. Yep, yeah, we'll really push our speed up as we drive through this field at night. Watching out for troubles as we do. Turkeys and rocks. Other things that could cause us pain in the night. Okay, easy enough for us to dodge around, and that's our cue. We need to start turning down, back towards the road, and now it's just a straight shot along. Okay, a quiet road so far, but we are approaching the town, and we'll be hitting it kind of any moment now. Narrowly avoiding a tree there, that's how we do it, and, well, there's the Migo of a Migo Tower. We know how those towers go, and, uh, oh, oh boy. Well, we've got quite a town in front of us here. Um, best move for us right this second is probably trying to close the curtains and just drive straight through here. Will it let me do that? Yep, it will. Okay. So, look, we can kind of remember our surroundings. Let's see if we can go ahead and open. Nothing can be opened nearby. That's BS. Uh, so yeah, we do have a problem with this where we can seem to close things quite easily, but the opening the curtains again, not easy for us to do. Um, we actually kind of need to stop the vehicle to be able to do it. So we're going to have to stop for a second. We just pull the handbrake. We need to actually let go of the controls and just hit like forwards and then we open them. <laughs> Let's get driving again. We made it around that shocker. And uh, I think the best thing is probably, well, you know what, we might actually be able to just go straight through the town now. All right, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit of a squeeze. Ah, there's an incandescent husk up ahead. Okay, I guess we're going through that as well. Which might actually shock us in the process. Yep, it most certainly will. Bridget got a little shocked. 
as we made our way through there, but hey, we're clear, we made it through. Imagine the electricity is surging up through the uh, floor panels. Uh, okay, so Bridget, we need to just inspect you real quick here, so we're going to pull our handbrake, we'll have to stop driving, or rather let go of the controls, examine your wounds, you're okay, you're good, everything else is mending. Okay, on we go. Let's get this thing a-rolling, and yeah, Dusk's health is looking real nice right now. We've mended ourselves rather nicely. And now we've just got this uh, pretty quiet road, all things considered. It seems to be a while before we're going to hit any kind of town. We do have this leading off by itself, and it is leading to a radio tower. Okay, so, I think this is probably a good spot for us to sleep. So we're going to turn off our headlights, and we will turn our vehicle off, stop driving here. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to go to sleep right away, but I do want to try and uh, see what's around us by using that radio tower, and we're going to have to wait until the morning to be able to do that, so... Yeah. Dusk, do you have any projects? Well, I might be able to do a little bit of repairing, reinforcing on some of our gear. That could be an option for us. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Okay, I'm going to do some repair, and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, the repairing is done. Now that we've actually got a little bit of extra time, I might want to try and see if we can make a whole heap of lard. It's one of the best ways for us to just keep a whole heap of fat on the go. So, let's see how much we're going to be able to do of that. Oh, quite a lot. We've got a lot of fat around. So, it's going to take four hours and ten minutes for us to do that. We're going to start it and, um, yeah, we'll just work through the night until we get tired, until we want to sleep. And if not, then we'll just keep on going. And it looks like, yeah, we're going to be able to go until this thing is finished. That's a lot of lard. Not enough space for the crackling, so we put it uh, on the ground beneath us. So we've got a lot of crackling around as well. So the crackling obviously isn't going to keep us long. So let's go heat <laughs> and eat some of the crackling. There's a hundred pieces of it there. So that will, <laughs> that will be rather nice for us. So we'll go, we'll eat until we're satisfied. Fantastic. And then, um, yeah, I'd love to put all of that lard and everything else like that away. So we're just going to have to try and shift that around for now. I think it's on the ground over here. It is. So we'll just go ahead and start shifting it along until eventually we're going to be able to get that stuff into the back of the cart here. And then we should be able to just go sort out our loot. And, uh, yeah, I believe that would have got put over here if I had to have a guess about the lard. Maybe not. Maybe it did end up back in the freezer. Well, we've got a whole heap of crackling in there and a whole heap of lard. So, yeah, I guess it just replaced the fat that was in here. And it seems like it has. Okay, that's not the... It's not bad. It's a good use of it. And we've just got the rest of this chunks of meat hanging out the back here. We could try to dehydrate that meat. That is an option for us. It means it'll stay good. Yeah, the option is either meat jerky or dehydrating it. And dehydrating it is going to be a better process for us. 20 minutes for this one here. It's using two different types of meat, though, to make it. Oh, or. Yeah, okay, so we can just use a chunk of meat here. Okay, that's going to be a better option for us. So, how long do we want to spend doing this? Um, let's go for a while. We'll use the hot plate nearby, and uh, we'll just start working on this thing. Either we're going to get tired, or it's going to be morning. It did say that we've lost a bit of weight then, for a second. And I hope that we're actually using the, the meat from outside, but we might not be. Let's see, let's, let's examine the vehicle. No, we want to check what's in here, get items. Okay, it did look like we used the meat from out there. Okay, so that's, that's something at least. Um, we're going to have the rest of this just dehydrated meat on the ground so we'll just go ahead and move that over out to there for now and it's 2 a.m let's try and see if we can oh we can't repeat it okay well let's try let's try something else then we should be able to do something like that looks similar okay nearby 20 um so yeah we want to use as many of those chunks of meat as possible two hours and 50 minutes not enough charges Okay, and I think that might be because of the food dehydrator that we were using. So we probably just have to reload that sucker. So 
Let's see. We want to try and reload that thing wherever it is, and it's going to be kind of everywhere. Food processor. There we go. Let's go put a medium battery back into that, and we'll try and see if we can repeat the craft. Nope, won't let us do that. That's fine. <laughs> we'll try over here. Dehydrated meat. Wonderful. And we'll go 20. And enough charges. Okay, so we had enough charges before. We were standing here, so it might just be a distance thing. Let's try one more time. Last attempt on this before we just kind of spend the morning waiting. Okay, chemistry charges. Oh, okay, we were just, just under. Okay, all right, 19 we can do. Sure, I got you. All right, well, we're going to get to work on that. And going to get very hungry and thirsty in the process. But it looks like the sun is slowly starting to rise outside. We've got a whole heap of dehydrated meat there. We're going to just go ahead and eat our compote, or slash drink our compote, and uh, then just go ahead and drink some water that's left. Ah, we don't actually have any clean water. Well, that gives us another opportunity to do some work here. Um, so we'll go ahead and make a whole heap of clean water. 50 units of it. We'll use the purification tablets before we use our battery because they're there so we'll use them um, we will dispose of the dehydrated meat and we'll just go ahead and pour this into our vehicle and from that point on we can just go ahead and slurp on nice clean water out of there okay so I want to do a little bit more organizing because I think we've just got dehydrated meat on the floor here around here somewhere yeah I kind of want to sort that out yeah okay I'll be back after that's done Okay, just double checked, nothing was under us on the floor, so we're okay there. Now we just need to wait for the sun to rise, and I think the best way for us to do that is to head up onto the tower, and then just kind of hang out, hang out until we have sunrise. So we'll go all the way up, oh there's a sleeping bag up here, fantastic, what else? Just a small tin can, okay, we're going to go ahead and wait, we are going to wait until daylight. Alright, waiting a little while here, eventually we will start to see... Just a bit of light, there we go. And with that, I think we should be able to get a pretty good sight around the area here. Okay, we can, but not quite that far yet. Okay, so we're just gonna have to wait a little while longer. Let's just say another half an hour. That should be enough time for the sun to start to rise up. Yeah, not enough, okay, let's wait. <laughs> wait another half an hour. It's probably gonna be more like 8.30. Yep, we're still really not seeing that far at all move around a little bit here oh that made a difference holy crap that made a difference look how far we can see now holy crap okay we've got a structure oh we have a structure holy crap that was right there in front of us and there's another one down here as well military base and it's the same military base okay so we can obviously see very far around us so this is where we came from last night this is where no is that no that's the last man on earth shelter where was the bunker then oh the bunker was over here okay right 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 i have my bearings i have my bearings so we can obviously see all these small little towns wentworth and sangerville okay and it looks like, uh, okay, we, we do have a bridge here so we can get across this river. There's another bridge over here towards the west. Not sure which would be the best way for us to go for us to continue our northern route. And we also have a FEMA refugee camp. Fantastic. But yeah, this is a monumental base that we're seeing from atop here. That 100% is going to be our next destination for us. We'll have a look and see what else we've got. A small warehouse and... A Trefford Grove. Well, I'll be damned. They are here. Okay. Well, uh, what else do we have here? What's this? A strip club. I see. I'm just looking for icons that I don't recognize. And then we've got a few shipwrecks out in the uh, river there. And what looks to be a... Oh, that's a military bunker. I thought it would be a uh, last man on earth shelter, but no. Okay. And a swamp shack. All right, Shrek. Well, um, yeah, we have a destination, and it is all the way out that way from us. So from atop the tower, we can see this mega base. 
I can only imagine what's going to be inside. But that's Legionnaires we are going to experience in the next. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.